Well, there's the first take on the Nifty, hanging on to 19,500, up about uh, 50 points on the index. Good opening for the Sensex as well, 170 points higher for the Sensex, while the mid-cap index is up about 115 odd points. What's leading from the front this morning is ITC, up about 8 tenths of a percent, followed by ONGC, JSW Steel and Titan. Banks are actually doing well, the Bank Nifty is up about 120 points, Kotak Mahindra Bank, ICICI Bank are in the green, HUL, Sun Pharma and Axis Bank are also holding up quite well. On the downside, though, you have something like uh, M&M that's just coming in for a bit of profit taking. Remember, it's had a really smooth run last one year. It's up uh, since the start of the year. It's up 25%. <clears throat> and then Maruti Suzuki, HCL Tech. Um, in fact, HCL Tech ahead of its numbers is a bit sluggish. So do keep an eye out on that. TCS as well is not doing too much ahead of its numbers, just flat at the moment. And Bharti Etel is just a tad bit in the red. Suffice to say. It's a good start to the market. The Nifty is up about 50-odd points. The advanced decline ratio is solid. So, uh, you know, that's what's... Uh, I mean, the market breadth is looking very good at the moment. Let's see if we can build on to that. Well, that's right. But the stock of the morning has to be uh, these gaming, online gaming uh, companies. Nazara Tech, as we pointed out, they said that it's limited to just 5%. The impact of this GST at 28% is impacting only 5% of their business. But they had plans to expand in this particular vertical, which will now get hampered. Stock is down close on 7.5% kickstart trade. Delta Corp, that one's locked in lower circuit, down close to around 10%. The viability of the business itself is being challenged. We'll have to wait by for the management clarification, if any at all. But for the time being, with what we have on the table, it's a clear negative to them. And probably one of the worst case outcomes that could have been expected have come out. This is as of now. We'll have to see how they move around with things. For the time, we can sound closer on 10%. Pirillite as well, you had a brokerage note that was a little bit cautious on their high valuations. Well, that stock's down closer around 3% odd. On the flip side, Pware, Rhinox, they are happy. The GST, they were expecting to be maintained at around 5%. So they're not getting into any regulatory tussles and the like. Good news for them. It's up closer around 3%. A couple of other names that are moving well. Lupin, in the final few minutes of trade, you had a bit of a booster shot coming in for their Pitam per unit. That's open with a gain of closure around 2%. And Ashok Leland as well. The stock is up closure around a percent and a half. When you look at the headline index, yet again, we almost went to around 19,500, almost kissed that mark. But uh, it seems that the bears are coming in to defend that 19,500, 19,525, as we've seen in the last few sessions. So it'll be what else? Well, uh, you said it, Nigel. I'm also watching up for exactly that. The fact that uh, we started, uh, you know, with some momentum, but already it's more caution than momentum right now on the screen. Reliance is uh, flip-flopping around the red line. They're selling in pharma early on in the morning. Uh, Devise is down, Cepla, Dr. Reddy's, the stock's under pressure. Tech is very soft as we begin the day. Infosys is down about three-tenths of a percent. And uh, banks are okay, but Indocent is the one that's down about a percent and a half. Uh, just some more names on the mid-cap screen because mid-caps are relatively sort of outperforming. So there's a Shoka built on, there's some gains there. Varun Beverages is trying to, uh, you know, uh, knock, knock up uh, some gains. HOEC is up about three-odd percent. Uh, Tatva Chintan, which is looking to raise some funds, about two, two and a half percent up there as well. But otherwise, uh, it is fairly quiet uh, in the mid-cap market. Masgao Doc, I mean, this stock, I think, is in a different orbit. It's, yeah. It lives on an alternate planet. <laughs> in a market that's slightly dullish as we start the day, Masgao is up five percent. Yesterday's mover, Kalyan Jewelers, I mean, Ever since Kalyan came out with their quarterly update saying that India jewellery business has grown 34%, the market just can't get enough of it. Oh, At absolutely. least this one. And there's a downgrade, by the way, on Titan. Double downgrades on Titan. Seems people are shifting some of that money to Kalyan. And, you know, I just want to point out one more pocket that's doing really well over the last many days is tyres. And today, uh, the day belongs to SEAT up uh, almost about 3-odd percent right now. And it's been a gain of 55% this year for SEAT. Now, not only have the earnings picked up in terms of revenue growth, but the raw material basket has come off significantly. So that's aiding the margins. We saw it in the Q4 performance for SEAT as well and a couple of other tyre stocks. And looks like even Q1 is expected to be uh, quite solid for them.